So still not, you know, still not perfectly beautiful, but looks a whole heck of a lot better than it did with all that uh, thickened epoxy goop doll on it. But that's, that's pretty much it. You know, I'm going to put some hardware in these holes and I think once it's painted and I kind of mask around the, uh, the bronze bit there, I think it's going to look really good. So I'm just going to do the same thing on this, uh, this goopy pintal up here and then the rudder will be pretty much done. I'm going to install this big honking transom motor thingy. So I've cut out this huge piece of plywood here and it's it, it's massive but the, the what I'm trying to do here is strengthen up the transom. Uh, what you're looking at here is basically uh, about three quarters of an inch thick. So yeah I'm gonna put that on there. This is the forward seat section and it goes in like this. Slide right in there. It'll sit in there just like that. And this is the, you know, the bow section of the boat. And then I'm also working on this little piece here, which uh, I'm, I'm fairing out the edges of it right now. So it's not actually going to fit into the slot. But this piece is to fill this slot up whenever the boat is being towed or uh, motored so that water doesn't, uh, you know, squirt out of that daggerboard slot. And then uh, this piece right here will actually get glued to the top of this filler piece. And this will go right there like that and give a nice place to sit. I keep calling this uh, this section here Tamby's seat. I don't know, I just kind of imagine her sitting up there to, you know, kind of balance the weight out since I'll be in the back with the motor and then she can be up here on the front kind of, you know, balancing the load. So, you know, that's one thing that I'm working on. And I uh, also have the stern plate here. This is all epoxied into place. It has fiberglass cloth on there. And then I've I've filleted out these edges nice and smooth. So before long, I'm gonna be installing the uh, the uh, gudgeons, or grudgeons, gudgeons, on the back of here for the rudder to hang on to. So it's kind of, a, kind of an odd, uh, odd place that I'm at right now with uh, the boat project. I'm really scattered. You know, before I was working on, you know, like one of the hulls or, you know, sanding the inside or fairing or something like that. Now I've, now I've got pieces going on over here. I've got projects going on on the forward section. 
I've got the, you know, the rudder and the dagger board back there that I've been working on. And then I've got these other things like the, the filler piece over there. Oh, this is just, just kind of, kind of scattered all over the place. So, but you know, it's, it's getting done. I feel like, I feel like we're starting to get close. And then when I start to have that thought, I remember that I still have to build a mast. I need to build oars and I need to build the sprit that goes on the mast that uh, helps hold up the sail. So even though I'm kind of getting close to it being done, I still got a good bit to go. I would imagine that I'm probably 80% done at this point. So I press on. All right, I've got this crazy jig set up because I'm going to be gluing this board, which is the filler piece for the dagger board trunk, to this board right here. And I've got this bungee to add some downward compression. I've got this little shim here to be sure that this stays centered. And then I'm going to be bringing this board right here over. Okay, it took me a minute to get that set up in a way that I liked. Anyways, you know, this is kind of a pretty basic little piece, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's amazing how much extra work and preparation goes into getting some of this stuff set up. But yep, but anyways, that's got epoxy drying on it. I've got some epoxy here drying on the dagger board itself. I'm going to drill some holes right here and put a rope through it. Uh, that's my idea right now for that. And just uh, moving right along. So this is a hole that I'm drilling in the actual dagger board itself. And what I'm going to end up doing, I think, is just make these two holes in the top. And then I'm just going to run a rope handle between the two of them to help slide the dagger board uh, through the dagger board slot. And the rope itself will prevent the board from actually, you know, falling all the way down through the slot. So I'm, I'm not sure if that's going to be a permanent solution or not, but at least that'll, you know,
Okay, so just a couple quick updates. Uh, progress on the dinghy is nearing the point where, uh, I mean, as far as the two hull pieces go, all I have to do left is really paint them. The rudder and the dagger board are hanging behind me here. Those are completely done and, uh, and ready for paint. Uh, so speaking about paint, what I've decided to go with is basically just uh, Rust-Oleum Latex Ultra Cover Gloss Paint from Home Depot. I like the idea of just using something really basic like this because, I mean, the dinghy's going to get beat up, you know, no matter what kind of paint we use. And, you know, and I specifically went with the high gloss paint just because it seems like it's, uh, you know, the more gloss in the paint, the more... Uh, protection, you know, it would afford and the more sun it would reflect to try to keep everything cool So anyways, that's what I'm going with and that's kind of the reasoning behind it Oh, and and one other really cool thing that I want to share with you check this out This was actually gifted to us by a fella named Ed. This is a huge help. I mean, this uh, this sale here is probably saving us, I don't know, 150 bucks at least, and who knows how many hours of time, because uh, you know I've never built a sale before. Um, been learning all this stuff as I go, and this is you know one huge thing that I don't have to learn in order to build it. So Ed, thank you very much for the sale.